Stevener 1, 2, and 2, and it's Smorgasbord Day. Ah, yes, Smorgasbord Day, the day where I get a bunch of crap out of the way is a maintenance video because I've been taking hiatus for a while. <laughs> for those of you who do not know, I have been working on my costume for New York City Comic Con for the last, like, month and change. And because I work a full-time job, uh, I didn't have time to do that, do the channel, and also go to work. So I, I had to lose one, and, uh... The benefit of being on your own schedule is you can just simply choose not to do it. <laughs> Sorry for the hiatus though, guys. Um, the costumes did come out really great. And I'll show you guys some pictures of that in a minute, but I figured I would just use this as a uh, stopgap video before we get back into the full swing of things next week. Also later in the video, I got an opening of a Megaton for you guys, just so there's something Yu-Gi-Oh related to this, <laughs> I guess. So without further ado, let's do it. First order of business, I'm sure you guys have noticed I don't have a beard right now. It is related to my costume. I went as Breath of the Wild climbing gear Link, so I couldn't have a beard. So I shaved it off for the costume. However, um, I had to wear a mask the whole time at the event, so I'm not exactly sure why I shaved. But it's been a couple days now and it's starting to grow back, so uh, by next week I'll at least kind of look like myself again so you guys can stop screaming about it. Amanda keeps telling me to go away until I come back looking like myself. <laughs> Overall, the experience at New York City Comic Con was freaking fantastic. That was the most fun I've ever had at a con, although it was pretty much my first legit one. I've been to some smaller events before, but like this was my first big one. So that's a bit misleading to say, I suppose. However, it was a lot, a lot of fun. Artist Alley was great. It's where I spent most of my money on swag for various pictures. Maybe some of them will end up back here. I don't know. Um, I posted them on Twitter and I will show them right here, here or wherever that pops up. I, I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm framing this right now. As I said, I went as Breath of the Wild Link and Amanda went as the Great Fairy Kotera, which is the one that sits right outside of Kakariko Village, where you probably do most of your armor upgrading because she's just the first one you find and also probably the easiest one to get to at a, at a moment's nose, unless you drop that thing that lets you warp anywhere, but why would you use it for that? I don't know. Favorite part of the costume was the Master Sword and Scabbard for it. I did purchase a shield as well, but I ended up not using it because I, I felt it would be too bulky to strap to my back, so I ended up not using it, which is a shame because it's actually really cool. For those of you looking to get into cosplay for events or things, uh, this was my first huge costume I've done. Like I did like Issei Hyoto last year with the, the, the boosted gear and stuff, but other than the gear, it's, it's just clothes. But like for this, Amanda and I, we, we, we tag teamed both of our costumes and uh, I did a lot of the foam work. And I will say this, um, don't ever use silicone to seal uh, your joints. The silicone doesn't mix well with the Plasti Dip that you use to, to seal the whole thing. Uh, the sword was 3D printed and uh, my my amateur experience, I can tell you guys as a, as a quick tip, um, it is okay to layer dissimilar paints no matter what they tell you as long as the layer before is completely cured. Not dried, cured. Because spray paint, what makes it spray and not just paint is it's full of an accelerant and like basically a paint thinner. And that paint thinner will destroy the previous layer if that layer is not cured. I had to paint that thing a million times because I was impatient. Don't do that. So that was my experience at the Comic Con. A lot of fun. The costumes were freaking great and it was just a lot of fun to uh, hang out with a bunch of other nerds. I guess that means the pack opening is our next order of business. So let's just move on over to that. All right guys, this is the 2021 Megaton. I took the cellophane off this previously. Um, I hope you guys don't mind. I figure that's just annoying and stupid to watch. But this is the first one I've opened this year. So cross out designator or bust. This has been sitting on my coffee table for like two weeks. I am I am so stoked. And uh, for those who don't know or just never noticed, if you combine this with the one from last year, you make like the, the, the Millennium Tablet thing. Isn't this neato? So I guess that presumably means that next year we're going to get the one with the God cards and Arcanine on the top or whatever. <laughs> The three legendary birds. Uh, so that one would be cool to get the complete set and you can just like have them stacked. Anyway. Ah! All right, let's see. How's that autofocus? Oh God, this new camera is so fucking nice. All right. Uh, we got Imbecella Lutina, Dark Templar Attic Mister, Infernal Knight, Captain Oliver, Charge in a Dark World, Melfi Hide and Seek, Awake and Possessed. Ooh, cool. The spicy uh, uh, Kettleball Turtle. I like that. Uh, Ditron, Dogmatica Escala. The Virtuous. I, I don't actually, actually, I think that's pretty, that actually pretty good. And I intended to play that card. Hmm. 
Proxy F magi <laughs> Proxy F magician. <laughs> that was my nickname in college. Uh, a look. Dice dies. Obsessive Uvuloop. Hello. Uh, Dark Lord Nurgle. Who makes up these names? Fiendish Portrait. Phantom Knight of Stained Greaves. I'm trying to read this through the camera. El Shadal, uh, Aka, Aka, uh, Al Capone. And then we got a uh, virtual world. <sighs> you guys are just doing this on purpose. Jihi, Gigi? <laughs> Piercing the Darkness. Emancipator Friends. Uh, the, oh, that's that's that one where he's like, Ooh, yeah, a jar. And then, uh, okay, sure. Did we, or did we not, get the designator? I should have been holding it this close to the camera the whole time. Hmm, disposable learning device. I like the artwork on that card. Uh, Titan Cider. You know, it is that time of the year for Titan Cider and Apple Pie and Super Heavy Samurai Scarecrow. Oh, cool! Parallel Exceed. I didn't know this got a rarity bump. That's actually really fucking cool. And now I need another one so I can actually play this stupid thing. Ooh, and then uh, some just random crap. Actually, did I need this? No, I didn't need that. Ooh, cool. All right, we got nothing. <laughs> All right, third order of business. Uh, we have some fan mail to get caught up on stuff. If you guys want to send me fan mail, my PO box is in the description below of every video. I don't know why you would want to, but if you do, people do. So that is what it is. So if you guys want to see me open a thing on the old YouTubes, send to the old PO box. First one is from Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Matt wasted a stamp for a joke. Oh. Uh, props. Dear David, misspelled deer. <laughs> like the do like he spelled it like the, the animal. <laughs> Dogecoin. Signed Matt. <laughs> this next one, I'm not sure if it counts because I got it at the con. Um, it was given to me by a, a girl cosplaying as Violet Evergarden and she gave me uh, this. It says Link because that's my costume and it even has like a fake little wax seal on it because that's what Violet Evergarden does. She writes letters. And I thought this was just really cute, so I wanted to put it on the channel. It's not it's not technically fan mail, but it's fine. <laughs> she says, Link, thank you for putting effort into making such an incredible costume. Everyone who sees you is impressed. I hope you may receive many compliments and photographs today and enjoy the con. If it is your wish, I will travel anywhere to meet your request. Sincerely, Auto Memories Doll, Violet Evergarden. And then some, like, uh, fancy, like, script from like the sh from the universe oh it's actually got the like the name of their postal company in the top too oh that's really cool actually thanks violet this was actually this actually like made my day this was really fun and uh a dedication to your cosplay giving people letters <laughs> i i thought that was really cool check out a picture with her why did they do that and last but not least uh ryan smith one of my my big subscribers who's always basically he's basically my sugar daddy at this point he like he's always donating on the streams and and he's like a a, a patron and and things like that he, he basically feeds me at this point um send me this i opened it on stream for the people who joined me but for those who didn't it's a totally awesome but he's like 3D. This thing is my favorite thing ever. Holy freaking shit. Thanks, man. This thing is, uh, this thing is unreal. I would love to do something with it, but I, I don't quite know what. I, cause like, I want to keep it safe. It should be like here, but I think that case obscures it. I don't know. I'll, I'll keep it there for now and we'll see how it goes. But anyway, guys, that was the uh, update video. I know no one's going to watch this, but I need to put something on the channel. And plus, I actually enjoy this kind of stuff. It's more casual. Join us next week. I will be returning to a semi-normal schedule. There's still some other events coming up, I think. I think we'll be okay, except for one week. I think it's like two weeks from now. I'm, I'm going to Disney with Amanda. So that one's obviously, that one's going to be a crapshoot. Maybe I'll film something quick and just have a Ryan upload something or something. I don't know, just to keep it going. But uh, after that, we should be we should be clear sailing until pretty much Christmas. So uh, that, that, that that's fine. So join us next week for Shadow Spectres, the next uh, set list, because it's uh, it just kind of fell that way. That's the next one, and it's October. It's the spooky set. So uh, I really couldn't ask for better timing on that one. So anyway, guys, if you don't troll the meta, who will? I will see you guys next week. Just a quick special thank you to all my supporters over on Patreon. You guys make the whole channel possible. You guys have no idea how much it means to me that you guys do that. 
If you guys want to be part of the Goblin Attack Force, link for the Patreon down in the description below. Well, 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 look who's back. Be sure to subscribe to the channel this time, or I will use my Millennium Rod and do devious, devious things to you. Evil things. Also, by the way, Bakora never did ever get that milk. I did get the bloody milk. No, you didn't. This is oat milk. It's not real milk. It needs to come from a cow. How do you milk an oat? 